previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Hello, and welcome back. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought was. Really? This was more personal? But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day. And everyone could believe, for just one moment, that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. Yeah, but this is episode one, so I mean, it's never gonna last. That moment passed. Apologies if the mic was a little bit funny just a little while ago. It, there's so many frickin' wires on this thing, and it all get caught together. Greetings, tiny people. I am the admin. Sorry, that was probably really loud to your pathetic, tiny ears. Don't be a dick. What is it? What? Admin? What is it? I'm scared right now. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? <laughs> Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right. I'm not going to say no one's right because I don't think he's an idiot. Looking right at you. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin, have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse, what's going on here? Yeah, now's not ready the time. That's all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. I don't like it. No, sir, I do not like it. Uh, everyone, everyone, hi. There's nothing to worry about. The giant prismarine colossus and I are gonna work this out and everything can get back to normal, I swear. Okay, so, an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? I mean, the guy's You're probably getting pissed off of waiting. Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. Don't worry, everyone. I'm gonna try talking to it. Okay. Diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Bearer. Do not tense. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, come in your way. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. Yay! Colorful. Ah, there you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Oh, 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 oh. This is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. What a That's nice guy. I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the sea temple. You could have sent a letter. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. This is hardly fair. Fight me, champion. Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Flee, tiny beacon towners! 
Save your lives. Enough talk, let's fight. Hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. This guy is oddly relatable. Oh, he's powerful. Uh, so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, two people just ran into each other, so the bar's not pretty high. <laughs> he, he saw us go in here. How is this? Reminds me of. Uh... No, actually, it doesn't. This is pretty bad. These people aren't going to stand a chance, Jesse. They're in the eye of the storm. You know what the tribe of Pukka say. Swords can't block wind. But a whole bunch of obsidian walls can. Structure block. Damn, this guy's annoying. cause a distraction. I can plant some of these guys. They'll help hold the city. I felt sorry from before, but... No one's a better distraction than me. Go for it. Yeah, you are pretty hey! distracting. Woohoo! Chew on me, monster! I never liked Prismarine anyway. What a liar. <laughs> Say that to my face and I'll show you who's lying. You are! Ha! I'll make you <laughs> eat your word. Jesse. Oh. Oh. You are the best. Why don't... Okay, fine, just run. Where's the structure block? Finders keepers. You bitch, that's how I claimed it. Who'd save you, Jesse? Not from me. Also, I should have been allowed to use that. Instead, you just dived like a dumbass. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me home. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. That, that's the opposite of what a cow would do. Back at the Sea Temple, had the same symbol. Ah! Oh, there we are. All right, Admin, you want to fight? You got one. Here I am. <laughs> well, how did he think that was going to go? Hey, Rockface! Eat this! This guy spends way too much time explaining himself. I mean, come on, you're a super powerful monster in need of entertainment. Just, just, just go with it. You don't need to explain your process. What is that? Quick version? The admin. He, like, built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you alright? I mean, he really had you up there. Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. Well, glad to accommodate. I you sure should you Lola. I saw a spot on the back of his head. That I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. I wonder what this gauntlet even does. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. 
Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. I mean, we've not actually seen it do anything, I don't think. Apart from opening up that portal oh, in the beginning, but that was, I think, more just a trap. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Blockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Not in there. Yeah. Surely he would feel this. Eventually. You don't know anything about me. <sighs> Where are you? Hey. Uh oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't you dare. Sure. Don't you dare. Leave. Don't you fucking. Oh, you no. son of a bitch. You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, admin. I mean, I've, I've beaten worse. I've beaten something that literally ate the world and made itself bigger in the process. Clock. I wonder if the structure block is out there. Should be. I earned it. That was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies touch me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea? How to use it? I still don't know what to make of radar. Bastard, that's my prismarine. I earned it. You'd think people would wait a little bit before just rebuilding whatever they find. Man, this thing could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? Not even a little. You make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. That so quiet you. On this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. L look, I promise. 
Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. My, my uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. I know you didn't think I was ready to watch a whole town, but I can watch a clock. I don't know, buddy. It's a pretty dangerous. Ah, fine, I'll let him do it. All right, radar. I, I still don't trust him, but. On you, the title of clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, it's not like you could run I off of this. I promise to uphold the duties of clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Well, yeah, good. That's good. I don't know. I just get weird vibes. So, what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just no respect. It'll be all right. Damage isn't too terrible. At least the that's signs are still really there. Good outlook. And um <sighs> When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. That's because they're I don't care boring. If that life keeps trying to drag me back. I like Beacon Town. I like helping people. <sighs> That's great then. I mean, the people clearly love you. I, uh. I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and. I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. <coughs> Excuse okay. me. Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy. I've got some prismarines, so... You be quiet. Shush. Shush, little Lola. Lola. By the way, in case you could hear that, I have my dog with me. Giving input. She clearly does not like my design. Why is that, Lola? What don't you like about the design? Naughty. Sit down. Good girl.
There we go. No, is that better? Do you like the design now? And there we have it, an unholy but symmetrical mess. I don't have any doors. And I can't actually get the walls. Slowly, slowly. Okay, I think I got it. Ah, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. It's perfect. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. It's a half ass mess, but Reuben. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Well, with my horrible artistic skills put on display. Aw, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they... I'll just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was artful. Oh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped, too. Ah, please. It's true, though. I was pretty good back there. Whew. <laughs> Just that accept the compliment. Don't, don't use it as a brag. My shop. He would have really gotten a taste of the midnight thunder. Uh, that's, uh, me. What a terrible it's a name. sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some... Uh, what tour guide? Boss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be <laughs> sure. But you should continue to keep just uh, talking about it for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, quite. Okay, you two. What are you hiding? You're being weird. Oh, uh, Nothing? Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang so? On, hang on, I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Oh, for fuck's Wait, sake, you're ditching me again. Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. That's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, pos possible stuff. Were you even gonna tell me or were you just gonna sneak off? Of course I was gonna tell you! I was just working up to it. Slowly. You literally see, just said the sooner you leave the better. I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? Ooh, it's snowing. How weird. Impossible. This isn't a snow biome. Mm, that's weird. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. It was kind of cuddly, right? 
<laughs> fighting a giant statue in the middle of town. Uh, okay, yeah, that was kind of cool. Ah, uh, see? I knew you'd know what I was talking about. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes! You're perfect for my creations. Perfect! Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. <laughs> It's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane. Mm. You'll never get away with this. Oh, come on, some zombies? So scary. Ooh, a hero with attitude. I love it. I really do. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs. Until you recapture that clock. Which is where? That you ask. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. Fine. We accept your challenge. I'm gonna get that clock, and then you're next. Ooh, that one gave me the shivers. You are legit, Jesse. Very excited. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. What? Oh, come on. Time to show this goon with the Skitaro crag jumpers do Oh my gosh, can you say one sentence without making up some name? You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, oh, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember? Find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ah, we need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone! Oh, ah. weird. I really suck at timing. Feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Bray, really, what gives you that idea? Hey, Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. And yet, bolts it up. Keep Beacon Town safe. I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course! Well, I... I won't let you down. Alright, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise. I will come back. Hmm. I wish I knew what this guy was saying. Stay safe, Nurm. Okay? Hmm. Oh. Aww. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, 
Block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. Well, at least he made the path really obvious. I mean, it seems like every three blocks there's another one there to mark the way. <laughs> 